hey guys i'm back with another video and today's video will be my paycheck one recap so this is my monthly view all of the sticker that you see here um all of these stickers that you see here is from my um sticker shop simply rail budgets um these expense stickers is from there as well as this is a kit that i designed myself but it isn't available um in my shop but i do have february kits um and monthly kits that will be up in the shop that's currently in the shop right now i just didn't release for february but if you're interested you can pick up these expense stickers because that's what i have here so I do like to use my monthly view to go ahead and um, track the things that I go ahead and spend. And I do like to go ahead and budget out my paycheck. And for the most part, I do like to kind of stay on track with that, but I don't always, um, I don't always make that happen. So. Let's go ahead and get into the recap. So, as you can see in the monthly, um, I did not get a chance to go ahead and stuff my cash envelopes, which why, which is very important to me um, so that I don't end up with all of these red um, budgeted expenses that I do. This is my key that I do go ahead and use just so I can categorize the expenses that I have and go ahead and group them. So now the reason that that did not happen because me trying to be slick and be slick, I did go ahead and transfer to um, Chime um, um, Mobile, I mean Mobile, Chime Bank, just so I can get my paycheck two days earlier. But what I did not know is that, well, one, my card took a very long time to come. It did not come until... I want to say my paycheck had already came for the end of December, which would have made it the 31st. So I don't think I actually received my card to probably later than that because I had already had my um, paycheck. Um, my paycheck came on this day and I think I actually got it on this day, which is why you see the expenses here for that. So that kind of messed me up. And then I transferred money over to my Bank of America account, which takes three days on a transfer, which I did not know. Um, I thought I would be able to transfer seamlessly, instantly between the two um, banks, but I did not. So that's another reason why um, uh, I do have a lot of red, only because in order for me to get the money off my chime card without me having to pay a fee i have to go to specific atms which is why i did go ahead and do um the transfer it held me back a little but it's a learning experience so we won't go into week two possibly with the same kind of expenses just because i know what i'm dealing with for right now but they are unbudgeted just because i did not stuff my cash envelopes and these were like not things that came out of any specific cash envelope because i didn't have any money in them so to be complete 100 percent transparent and everything that I do, that is why it's marked that way. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the actual paycheck and everything that we have going on. So rent, um, I did have to go ahead and add a little bit extra to that from this paycheck. Um, we'll go ahead and leave that how it is. Capital One, I actually did not even pay my Capital One, and I'm just realizing that with all the stuff that I had going on. I did pay my Finger Hut. Marcus is deducted automatically. My cash envelopes, I did not do, and my sinking funds, I did not do. So let's go ahead and just add up all the unbudgeted. So I'm not going to track my travel just because if you look at my budget, my traveling expenses which it says metro car is like in my fix i do um mark it just so i can keep track of exactly what it is that i'm spending but for the most part 
yeah, that's already accounted for. It's not something that might be different. It just depends, honestly, on how many days I work. So let's just go ahead and add up all of the um, budgeted expenses. All right, so one of the biggest ones is that my cell phone bill, I forgot to pay it. So in total, um, that's what it is. And as you can see here, I had $187 in unbudgeted things so we're gonna add this all together mm -hmm. and that equals up to 638.89 so that is what I went ahead and budget it. Oh. So I was $190 over budget. I'm not gonna go ahead and like add that over. I'll leave that, but I did go ahead and put the $26 to my savings account, as well as 40 to my other account. So I did go ahead and make those goals there. And my total rollover, I don't really remember. I will fill that out off camera, but I am going to go ahead and add my um, no spend stickers just for the days that I didn't spend any money. And that is here. And this is available up in my shop if anybody is interested in checking it out. Um, you can go ahead and do so. I didn't spend anything on Saturday. And I think that's about it. I had no spend. I had two no spend days, which is better than spending for the whole week. And that will be my recap for my paycheck one. Hopefully you guys will do better than I did <laughs> um, in terms of your budgeting for this first week. But I do like to have a plan going in to the first week, which is why I go ahead and do those things. And actually, I'm going to move over this payday sticker just here just because um, I did get paid on the Monday, not the Wednesday because of Chime. And I'm not going to mark that for that. Moving forward, I will leave them right here, but I did want to move that because I had like stickers there. But anyway, if you guys are interested in seeing any more of my recaps, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications of my next upload. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.